Hey, what's up guys? It's Mikey here, and today I got a request to basically show you guys how to wire a Code 3Z3. So, we have the Code 3Z3 here. It used to be wired in my vehicle, but I took it out because I didn't need it for the purpose of this car. Um, but I do now have a send-off signal 400 in there. Um, so basically before you even start wiring this, you're going to need a power source. So in your vehicle you're going to need a fuse box that's either hooked to the battery or you could be like me and have a fuse box inside and behind the seat on the partition of your vehicle or you could have it in the trunk back here but um yeah I chose to put it behind my behind my seat so yeah you're gonna need a power source before that other than the battery um or other than yeah other than the battery um so basically you have your three red wires for main power and two grounds um so let's say you hook these up you know the jump cable is your fuse box okay so stand by while I do that all right guys and so you have your three red wires and your two black wires wired right but then you go to your little uh, switch box flip it you're hitting the buttons hitting the air horn and siren buttons and nothing's working right and you're confused so in these jumble of wires right here you're gonna need to find one that says ing or ignition for your ignition wire see that one says i don't know if you'll be able to see it says remote that's not the one we need um horn ring horn ring uh gonna be somewhere in these jumble of white wires so stand by while I find that and I'll get back with you guys found it um, oh wait did I no I didn't Fall somewhere. Okay. now I found it so as you'll see as you can see I don't know if the camera will focus, but it says ING for ignition. So you're going to add that to your fuse block or whatever, whatever you have. And you heard, you heard that beep. Um, that means you now have power. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's sound coming out of the amplifier. So that shows that it is working. So you just need the three red wires, the ignition wire, and the two grounds for it to get power. Um, another thing is these arrows here control the backlight. So hold this all the way to the right. And on this little LED here, it's all the way at the right. The brightness is full, fully up. And then left all the way down it basically the brightness there's no brightness on it um so yeah this is a quick little rundown these white wires here are for um level one two and three so yeah i hope i hope that helps you um hope that helps you but an example of what an ignition wire would be. So, walk around here. Hop in your vehicle. And see mine's hooked to an ignition wire. So there's no power when the car's off to save the battery. You throw it on and once it, once you add power, it's in the run position. 
you will get your lights flashing, push bar lights, your wig wags, you know, the whole nine yards, everything will work. And I can do an informational how-to video if you guys are interested on the lights and how they work. Um, but yeah, and a more in-depth look at the inside or the fuse box, whatever you guys' questions are. Um, some of this stuff back here, like the light bar, it's a Whelan Liberty light bar. And all this other stuff is for sale. Um, so, if you guys need anything or want anything, have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to assist you. Um, I'm not a professional by any means, but, you know, I have a rough idea of what to do. So, again, you just need the three red wires, two ground, and one ignition wire to get power to your Code 3Z3. And, yeah, that is all, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, again, it's Mikey. So leave uh, any questions or comments down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to respond and help you out.